Hello to everyone, how are you today? This is Joanna and today I am coming to you with a collaboration titled What is in my nail kit? I was invited to join this collab by a Mrs. Ashley of Pugs and Pearls. Um, thank you very much Miss Ashley for inviting me to do this. Um, so what I'm going to discuss with you today is just what I have in my go-to nail kit. Um, it's not really a kit. I tend to use some of the same things, um, but I will tell you a little bit about my basic nail care. Now to tell you a little bit about myself first, my name is Joanna. Um, my YouTube channel is under my real name and I am in nursing. Um, so I work in the medical field. I give medications. I have had a recent, um, well, in the past, I've had quite a few recent job changes. The job that I had when I started YouTube, I had for about four years and five months. From that point on, because I needed to change the status that I was working, I have kind of bounced around from job to job. That is not the normal thing for me. The job that I had was um, a 40-hour work week. Then I went weekends. Then I needed to drop those weekends, which is what change the course of my employment um, and each time on here I've let you guys know when I've left the job or what I'm moving on to. My channel is basically um, nail stamping and makeup hauls, Bath and Body Works hauls primarily. I have done some giveaways featuring Bath and Body Works um, and I did say I wanted to change that up a little bit and possibly do a cosmetic giveaway, specifically makeup. But for the most part, it's nail care, nail stamping, and hauls. So to get on with what this is about, I'm going to share with you some things that I use. I don't have a whole lot, but some of the things that I use, I have used regularly. So what I'm going to start with in my case, because I'm a kind of a fly by the seat of your pants girl, my videos are not structured as in um, I don't have cue cards or anything like that. So my stuff is basically coming off the top of my head. I'm showing you what I'm showing you. So sometimes I can get things out of whack or get things, you know, I forget to mention something. So I'm going to try to do this in an order, um, in the order that I would do if I were doing nail care. So the first thing I'm going to start with is my nail polish removers. I have um, three. This one is one that I get from Blondie's and it's a non-ace tone remover. And I use this quite frequently. Um, it is sort of a moisturizing one. I don't know if it has moisturizers in it per se, but I generally nine times out of 10 use this one first. And it is about, it was $3.95 when I found it. I believe it's about $5.95 now maybe. This is the second one. This was my number one remover, but because it is so expensive, Anytime that I can use this one to save this one, that's what I do. I hauled these maybe a couple of years ago, possibly almost three years ago, where I found on Zoya where you could buy one, get one free. I bought four, got four free, so I had a total of eight of these. I believe in addition to this one, I have three more. And I like this remover a lot. I had in the past favored the OPI Expert Touch and the Aloe one and discovered that was what was actually causing my nails to peel like they were, sadly so. But I really like this one a lot. When I first started using it, it had a baby powder lavender smell. Now that I'm used to it, I don't notice that so much. But it's a nice product I really like for myself. Um, and again, I will use this one to save this one and I go through these and I am planning on ordering more of this one. These are about $25 per bottle. So when I was able to buy four for $100 and get four more, that was a deal for me. The next thing that I will use when I am nail stamping primarily, I don't really use this on my nails unless I have nothing else. And I have tried to remove glitter with this. It doesn't work any better than the other two for myself in my own opinion. So this is $6.95, so that's probably what the other one is too. I get both of these again at Blondie's. I got my Zoya, that big bottle off the Zoya site. So the next thing that I will do is I probably um, should mention that I will wash my hands after I take my polish off and I use any one of the foaming Bath & Body Works hand soaps that I have hauled on here. Nothing special there. The next thing that I will do, um, after that is I will use my cream and I don't have my cream here to show you. I use the Barriel cream, another item that I have um, shown in the haul and I've misplaced it around the house or I will use my cuticle oils. Now I don't have a favorite one 
but I do tend to use this a lot because it's sitting here. This is C&D. Another one that I will use that I do love is my Barrielle one. Oh, look. I spoke too soon. It was covered up by an envelope. Here is my Barrel cream. This is what it looks like after you've used it a whole lot. I have shown it in a haul. It's a creamy consistency when it's brand new. Then it turns into this, but it's still usable. This is a product that you can use over nail polish. Now, I have not been using this as much as I used to because I've been busy. I've been at work. I've been working a lot of hours. I basically come in, bathe, go to bed. I have no life while I'm working. Um, but it's a really lovely product. That is a product that has been out since I've been in high school. We all know I'm old. <laughs> so it's been out a very long time. And I love the oil that goes with that. So another emollient thing that I will put on my nails is this. And I believe this is a California mango product. Um, all the words have come off. I got this after looking at a Dulce video. I think she mentioned putting this on her son's cuticles. Now, I will say this. This was like maybe 5 or $6. You get a ton of this. I wouldn't mind if they made this like a quarter of the size because something like this will last me until I have to throw it out. It did have a strong mango scent. It still has it. It's very good. This item can be used on your cuticles, um, on your hands, on your heels, your elbows, wherever there's a rough patch. Very good product. Another cuticle item that I have used, and this is a brand new one for me, is the Glisten and Glow Cuticle Oil. And it's got these little beads in here. I don't know why it would really need beads, but I will save this and put these in polish but you can have this in the scent that you want it in and I apparently chose sangria white peach for this any of you that like the pink sugar scent I think there's a scent in that I believe they are the ones I ordered that lime scrub and hand lotion from but I have not used those products yet um, leading me into the next thing that I like is scrubs this one right here I have another bottle of this this is very old and this is what it looks like when you use it a lot. What I love about this scrub and a lot of my coworkers loved about this scrub, and this is an OPI product. It's hard for me to find this now. Um, if you have a salon like your JCPenney still stocks OPI because they quit carrying OPI for a while here, you will find this readily available. I don't know, but I don't find it here as much as I did. This one is my favorite scent. I do have a green tea one and a lemon one, but this is the one I had two of and I've used them up. What you do with this that I love is you squeeze it into your hand dry, like you don't wet your hands or nothing. You squeeze it into your hands and I'm at the point now where I might need to cut it and you rub it all over. You just rub, 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 rub. And then you rinse your hands under warm water and it's as if it leaves a lotion coating on your hands. Everyone that I let use that loved it and it lasts for hours. They also have the matching hand creams in this product. So I like that one a lot. But because of the fragrance, it cannot be used by the males in the house. I mean, they can. There's no law that says they can't. But for the most part, your husbands aren't going to want to walk around with papaya pineapple scented hands. So... Another scrub that I keep in the house that my son loves and that I've given away to friends and their husbands love is the second, I'm sorry, 60 second manicure hand scrub from the True Blue Spa line, Bath and Body Works. Now, when I give this as a gift, I take those little spoons that you get from Baskin Robbins and put on here because the first jar that I had, all the oil was on top and I used it up and it left the dryness beneath. But what I've learned to do is before each use, you stir it up and put that little bit of spoonful in your hand and you scrub your hands. Now, my friend's husbands loved it. They said, oh my God, where did you get that scrub? My husband loved it. I didn't think it was that great. Not that it's not great. I just think I'm spoiled by all the product that I have. And sometimes I think in my case, when I have so much of something that is nice, I tend to take it for granted, but they really love this. Um, and it has a pleasant smell. My son could use this. This is a product that if you have men and boys in the house, they can use this. Now, what goes with this is the Look Ma um, New Hands Hand Lotion, which I have, but I can't find it. Or this one, which I don't think they make anymore. And this was the Glove Me Tender. It was a restorative hand treatment. Um, and it has SPF in it. I also use the True Blue Spa Unscented Hand Cream, another item that I have on hand, but I cannot find. 
So that is a very good item. I love a good hand scrub because sometimes our hands can benefit from that. Another one that I've used is this one that I got free when I made a Zoya order. This one can actually be used all over the body. The other two scrubs are specific hand scrubs. I have never used these scrubs all over the body. I have only used them on my hands. The next thing that I think I want to mention is files. I have um, a glass file. I have a Czechoslovakia one and mostly Sephora ones. I've broken a lot of these. This was the first one I found that came in a case, but it is different from the other files. This one is double-sided, so you can use either side. The good thing about glass files is they are supposed to be gentler on the nails and you can clean them. I've never had to clean mine yet, but I like that this one comes in a case and I'm very careful with it because the first few I had it work in my pocket, I'd pull something out, it would hit the floor and break. So I really try to take care of this. I have a julep one that I haven't used. This one again is a Sephora brand one. I think I got it for maybe $8 and then I have another Sephora one over there. The ones that were sold out of the case just on their own are one-sided. The ones in the case were double-sided. I haven't seen these anymore, um, and I don't know if I've included one in a giveaway or not. But if I find some more, I do plan to get some more. So that will start me off on my nail tools. Now, another file that I love, and this is what it looks like when it's been used and loved to bits and pieces, is the Sally Hansen Fine File. Sadly, I don't think they sell these anymore. I saw a group of them on Amazon. I waited and I was too late. If you can find these, get them. This is what they look like when they're brand new. The last time that I found these was two years ago, and that's where this one's from. They were 80 cents at Big Lots. Normally, you bought a pack of two or three for like $3.49 or something like that. I have included one of these in the giveaway. I really like this as far as sticking in my purse when I can't take my glass file with me. Nail tools, I have three. I have a cuticle cutter. I have since learned that you should not cut your cuticles. I think I have a fourth item. But I was doing that a long time ago, not necessarily cutting them all the way, but when I have a little piece or a little area, you know, I would just take this off. But one time I did trim my cuticles and I had all 10 of my fingers bleeding. This one is a Revlon one. It's the one that I like. When I caused that mishap, I had a different branded one. But I just keep this for in case there's something, you know, right here. Or a cuticle nipper, which I do have. Um, I don't cut my cuticles with it, but when you have pieces right here, with me working in medicine or anyone, especially women who work with their hands, you know you have little areas. Like right here, I have a little sore area. So another item I would recommend that I don't have to show you is the Neosporin Cream. That is a good thing to have in your little manicure bag for your basic little, um, you know, moisturizing your cuticles and little sore areas. So the next tool that I have is a cuticle pusher, of course. I like this for cleaning under the nails. And this right here, I go kind of gently because I never know how much pressure I'm applying. I have had dings in my nails before where I think I push too hard with a cuticle pusher. And this one right here I like to use like after I've had my polish on and it's dry just to push some stuff back. I don't even know where I got this from, but I do like this. I just have to watch it because I have set down cotton balls and things with Ace Tone on them accidentally on top of here. The next thing I have is tweezers. I had a generic pair and I lost them, but they were pointed like this. But they were perfect for getting the little skin when you have dry cuticles or something like that. So I had to buy these specifically, and this came in a set from Sephora. Um, it had slanted tweezers and these, but the one that I had was the best one for what I needed it to do. Um, the next thing that I think I'll talk about is my base coats which I have three. I have a strengthener that I use from Sephora and you guys know that they've now moved to Formula X so they don't have these anymore. But I think the Formula X line has its own um, brand of these since the Sephora by OPI went to Formula X. You can get these items in the Formula X line. They just might be called something different. But this is the strengthener and I really do like this especially when I'm doing French manicures. I have, um, I can't find my bottle of this that's open, but this is Hydrator. And what this is, is a nail base coat that's moisturizing because in the winter time, um, I think it's best to use a moisturizing nail coat. 
base coat and like when you use hardeners and strengtheners all the time it can make your nails brittle that was a problem that I faced your nails can be too hard and then they can crack real easy and you want them to bounce back another thing that I like is the Dury Rejuva coat which I kind of bought one from Amazon and then I ended up liking it and I started buying more they had it at Walmart for a while here they stopped carrying it I've gotten it as cheap as eight dollars and as high as ten but this is a really good base coat to have but it was made for people who have their nails damaged by acrylics and I do hear that when your nail is in that fragile state this can really burn so I don't know if you want to use it right when you remove your acrylics and you're trying to regrow your nails or not now I do have a couple of adhering base coats. I have um, the China Glaze one, which I really like. It's called Adhesion Base Coat. And I have this Orly Bonder one, which is new for me. And I have C&D. I really like this. My small bottle of C&D dried up and evaporated. This one hasn't, so I'm glad because I got two of these. And these are made by the same company, the Solar Oil and the C&D. And a lot of their polishes come in this ball. They have air dry. They have a super shiny top coat. They have many products. Another item that I've had to use in the past has been nail glue. Now, I like the nail glue that has the brush because then I can put it where I want to add on the nail. This one right here, I believe, is the generic version. And this is the name brand version. Both of these work the same for me. I don't find one particularly better than the other because one is name brand and one is not, even though I prefer name brand things. Um, but um, I will say that you still have to take care of your nail and keep it bandaged depending on where the break is. But this is kind of a little lifesaver um, when you just need this for like a day or two. Um, another item that I do like to use is a nail drying spray. You have heard me say when I do regular nail polish manicures, I don't particularly use a top coat unless I'm going to nail stamp. So when I'm just trying to dry my spray in a hurry, I like this. And this is the Rapid Dry Spray. And I was getting a lot of these items, this and the nail drying drops for free. I was giving them away because I didn't even try them, thinking they'd be no good. Once I tried them, I fell in love with them. This was about $6 when I bought it. I hear it's higher now. And I use my Sesh V when I'm going to nail stamp or over a particular polish that takes a while to dry. Um, a number one nail care thing for me, of course, with everyone is cotton balls to remove your polish. I use the Sally Hansen cotton balls. These are white cloud cotton balls because it was all I could find at the time. I was using generic cotton balls and I stopped because I found that I was having the little pieces left over. There is a difference in certain things when it comes to quality. Um, Another favorite top coat that I like to use and base coat that I forgot is the Stuck On Blue and the HK Girl Top Coat. Now this is about like the um, Out The Door and Sesh V. Some people love one and they hate the other. You might like, you know, Sesh V and not like this one and Out The Door. I can't stand Out The Door. I don't think Out The Door works better for me than Sesh V, but I do have some. I also don't like Posh. I will use this first but I will use my Sesh V when I'm running low on this so this was a good product for me I did a stamping look in which I had used this for the first time it was a few summers ago and it was green with that glitter with the light now my other thing is cuticle removers which I'm still learning to use I have to this one I don't like at all some people love it I saw a video and that person made this stuff look like it worked like wonders then there's this one, the tried and true one. I basically got this because it's what everybody else uses. For myself, I'm still looking for the perfect cuticle remover. Um, let's see what I haven't mentioned. Buffers, I like this julep one. Sometimes when our nails are still healthy, but they got that little bit of yellow there. I like this one. It's just a one-sided one. But I also have that block that tells you to use the white, the blue, the burgundy in that Dead Sea um, set. Someone gave me that as a gift. I like that one. But the people here want to charge $30 for one. Um, one of the last few items is hand gel. Of course, you guys have seen me haul these. Um, this is what I use at work, but it dries your hands out profusely. So my next item is always a good hand cream. I keep a hand cream in my purse. And these are the hand creams that I have a lot of right now. The Bath and Body Works, like I said, if it's not True Blue Spa, 
it's one of these but mostly in the winter time my number one hand cream is that little Neutrogena Norwegian one which I have some but I can't find it I have had the original version and the unscented version and I like the original version better but that is an, a very emollient hand cream you have to like that because like my friend thinks every hand cream is greasy I don't I want to feel it on my skin that's fine with me um, but she doesn't so I don't really like like my Bath and Body Works cashmere creams those ones like that silk cashmere because that doesn't last for me but I really like these and I go through these and a tip that I have for a lot of my creams and body creams that I tell people if you're somewhere in an office or like where you have a desk and you think that these tubes are empty when you cut them open there's a lot of product down in there and what I do is I cut it off at the tip get out what I'm going to get but you still want to leave enough room and you close it up in that drawer and it stays moist for days because I will use my tubes 100% so anyway I believe that is all that is in my basic nail care routine and again I want to thank Miss Ashley and all the other ladies in this collab I've been looking at their videos and I love them and I have not been nail stamping because my nails have such damage on them you guys know I've talked about that before um, what happened was as soon as I thought to myself personally, I'm going to start doing more French manicures, I had damage and peeling and breaking. But one more item I see that I forgot to mention is this, and I do have an open bottle of this. This is what I wanted to use my French manicures with. This is the um, Calcium Gel Fortifier by China Glaze. It recommends that you use this without nail polish, and I did use it like that. And what it looks like is a gel service manicure because I had a resident at my job at that time. We had our hands together and I told her what was on my hands and she showed me hers and they looked the same. Hers was a clear gel service and mine was this. So I am going to start using this again. Um, but it had weird directions. I think like you were to use this and maybe touch it up after two or three days and then not use any nail polish at all. Yeah, that was it. You apply two coats and then you wait two days or four days okay let me get this straight you apply two coats and then every four days you apply another coat and I think at the end of the week you take it off and you do that for four weeks I can't not wear nail polish for four weeks I'm sorry but I did figure I would do French manicure so once I get a little bit of edge out because my nails look horrible now I will start something up this corner broke off just today you guys can see that so I'm just going to continue doing what I was doing when I showed those I think baskets of polish when I said that I was going to be using those this fall this is one of those colors this is one of the OPI um, the little set that I bought the DC set and I think this is we the female because Envy nail person had on the polish that I loved and when she told me what it was Thank goodness it was something that I had. I had that in the little set, and that's what this is. So that is um, everything that I have in my basic nail care regimen or kit. I do need a kit. I need a little bag for my purse. But that is everything that I have. I hope that someone found some of the information helpful. I love all of you guys' videos that are putting some up. And again, I want to say thank you for inviting me to do this collab. And until the next time, everyone have a great day.